Jenny Nichols' mother died at the age of 54 from Alzheimer's disease. It was upsetting to see her slowly lose her independence. To start with, she, she would be very kind of disorganised um, in her ability to you know, manage, manage the home situation, um, manage the, the family. What many people don't know is that dementia is the second leading cause of death in Australia after heart disease. People with Alzheimer's disease have plaques and tangles in their brain caused by toxic proteins amyloid beta and tau. Scientists now say tau isn't the real culprit. It tries to combat amyloid's toxic assault on the brain and they've discovered that a protein called P38 gamma helps in that process as it tries to protect the brain cells from damage. When we increase the activity of this enzyme we could actually prevent memory deficits from happening. This was, I think, one of the key moments in the whole study where we, where we actually realised that this could actually be a new avenue for therapy. Not only is the finding significant, it's rare in medical research to see two brothers, Lars, a trained doctor, and Arne, a molecular biologist, combine their skills to make a difference. This discovery, which was published in a prestigious medical journal, has been protected in a patent, giving the researchers exclusive rights to develop a drug in the future. It's a real ray of, ray of hope um, that finally there, you know, there's been some development. Gabriella Rogers, Nine News.